All right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on, fam? How's everybody doing? How is it? Can we hear you? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing there today, tonight? For the Ripple Effect of Healing show, it's going to be something different <laughs> for tonight's episode. I'm actually live streaming on two different platforms, uh, my YouTube channel and also my Facebook group. So if you're tuning in from anywhere, from YouTube or Facebook, please leave a comment so you, I know you, that you're here, that you're seeing me. Oh, I see you. Yeah, awesome. Shout out to the Healing Tribe. What's up? What's up? Uh, I didn't go on live for the last couple weeks, you know, because of the holidays. Uh, my daughter was here, so I got to spend time with her. So, but today, uh, tonight for this uh, episode, episode seven of the Ripple Effect of Healing show, um, the last show before 2021. I mean, the new year is right around the corner. It's like, yeet! There it is. You know, it's like, it's like right there. <laughs> so, um, exciting times, right? All of us want 2020 to be over. We've all gone through a lot of trials and tribulations. I mean, the whole world, you know, the whole globe is uh, was feeling all these effects. And, um, you know, we want to go into the new year, right, uh, with new goals, new vision, new perspective. So, um, I'm trying to trying to make that happen too, right? For everybody. And if you've been following me and if you've been, you know, following my journey and, you know, um, if we've you know, connected some way, somehow, you know, through the healing tribe or my energy healing practice or anything before, I, I deeply uh, have so much gratitude for that because I am grateful for all of my connections and all of the experiences that we have together. But going into this new year, you know, I want to spread more knowledge, spread more understanding of a better perspective of our, of our overall health and well-being, right? Because if you've been following me, you know I'm all about healing, right? You know I'm all about, you know, um, having this uh, different mindset of healing, right? Whether it be emotional healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, you know, um, mental healing, right? We all can use some healing right especially because of all these you know stuff that's been happening you know with this whole pandemic thing right i mean that's 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 the one right there right so um uh, like i said tonight's gonna be a little bit different i'm gonna be going over a little bit over you know the, my allotted time because normally i do this show for like 30 minutes and i talk about something but tonight is an exciting night for me. Uh, it's a very special night. I'm going to do a, a book giveaway, a few book giveaways. For those of you that have been following me already, I do, I love to give away books, right? Uh, um, and the, the only book that I gift, is, you know, is The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. If you haven't read that or don't own it, what is wrong with you? <laughs> right? But it's a great book. It's an awesome book. Um, in fact, here it is, right? The Alchemist, right? So I always have this book on hand to give to people because it's awesome. But tonight, it's not about The Alchemist. Tonight is about another book that I want to give away. And it's not even out yet. It's not even, you have to pre-order it. You have to pre-order this book, right? And it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out tomorrow, actually. The, the, the launch date is set for tomorrow, December 29th. But, you know, your boy, your boy already got it. <laughs> it's, I got the book. If you've been following my content and all my social media platforms, I've been posting a lot about this specific book, right? A book called Eat Smarter by Sean Stevenson. So I want to give you a, um, a synopsis of how I was blessed enough to receive this amazing book and i'm not i'm not even done reading it yet right i'm i'm like maybe almost halfway there um and i'm i'm more of an audiobook guy so uh reading it is you know is is a bit uh, challenging for me cuz i got to you know find time rather than just listening to it while i work out or whatever but still the book is phenomenal so so much great content about you know your physical health and well-being right nutrition diet 
weight loss, right? Um, I mean, just incredible information. Uh, it will change your mind and perspective about, you know, um, your body and healing it with food, right? We all eat, right? All of us eat here. So we have to eat to survive, but eating also requires to requires you to eat in a way that helps your body, you know, optimally perform, right? Optimally do its functions, right? And we have so many functions in our body, immune system, endocrine system, nervous system, right? I mean, our all of our organs, our brain, our liver, you know, our kidneys, you know, every all these things that intricately are connected to each other and then you know we have to feed our body with the correct nutrients minerals food right to sustain ourselves you know and this goes throughout all of our overall health and well-being right mental health physical health spiritual health emotional health right so um tonight i'm going to be talking about this book um like i said you can pre-order this book right now it's going to come out tomorrow on amazon you can go to eat eat smarter book.com i know some of you already you know pre-ordered it which is awesome you will not be disappointed i mean the information here is phenomenal uh sean stevenson is the um creator of the podcast the model health show and if you guys want a an awesome podcast to listen to about health and fitness, health and wellness. It's the number one podcast in that category on Apple Podcasts. I mean, it's phenomenal. Uh, ever since I started listening to him, I came across people like Dr. Joe Dispenza. He had him on his show. Dr. Uh, Mark Hyman. Uh, John Quick. I mean, I'm not Jim. Not John. Jim Quick. Uh, Lewis Howes. Uh, Lisa Nichols. Uh, Shalene Johnson, like all these major, like, you know, people in their industries that talk about health and well-being, right? Health and wellness. And, and even him and even Sean himself is, I mean, this dude is like a walking, like, you know, bank of information when it comes to like nutrition. I mean, he's like been doing this for, you know, almost two decades and you can tell in his book because he's he cites so many studies. I mean, this this book is well researched in all the things he talks about in 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 in, in this in this book. And also comes with the you know thirty day eating plan. You know for 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 um you know for you to you know feel better, eat better, right? All these recipes and stuff that he adds in there in the back too. I haven't even started it. I, I think I'm gonna probably do it for 2021. But it comes with a a free plan, right? So it's an amazing, awesome book. He also wrote the book Sleep Smarter, uh, another amazing book. I have that on Audible, uh, in, in my Audible app. If you want to know, if you want to learn about sleep, you know, sleeping better, that is the book right there, Sleep Smarter, and how it affects your overall health and well-being. Get that book. So for tonight, like I said, I'm super excited about it, about this show tonight. I'm going to be giving away two of these books to two people right tonight um it's just gonna be super random uh no contest or anything i'm just gonna you know it's it's i'm gonna pre-order it for you tonight after i do this show and i'm gonna contact you when once i pick the two people and then i'll have amazon ship it to you all right so i want you to have this book because if you are serious about your health and well-being you need this book and if you've been following I am passionate about your health and well-being, right? I mean, I've helped so many people, you know, overcome some of their traumas and overcome some of their, you know, um, um, hardships with themselves energetically, emotionally, right? Uh, and, you know, your physical health all correlates with that. So just because you've healed doesn't mean, you know, also transcends into your physical body when you have to take care of yourself and do self-care we always touch on every part of your overall health and well-being right like i said i'm gonna I'm say it again your your mental health your physical health your emotional health and your spiritual health 
right? We have to touch on all four of those things. Um, and this whole thing going into the new year, and you know, like a New Year's resolution, we always focus on what? Physical health. Right, we want to get into the gym. You know, the gym membership skyrockets in in January and February, and then things kind of like fall off because we don't stay committed. Right, but I want to start normalizing self care that touches everything. Right, not just physical health, but all health. Right, I mean, I we should be normalizing meditation. We should be normalizing journaling. We should be normalizing. Affirmations. We should be normalizing, visualizing. You know, of course, exercise. Right. We should be normalizing eating good foods. Right. I mean, um, breath work. You know, all these things we should be normalizing because it's going to help us. It's going to help us be the best that we can be. Right. Mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Right. And every time I, every time you know, I I. Look at myself, for example. You know, I take two hours a day, every single morning, for self care. I do eight different activities every single day before my day even starts, before my kids even wake up, before my you know well my wife wakes up too and does her, but before you know before she did that, I would I would do it on my own. And we both have our own separate self care, you know, routines. But you know, we do it early in the morning. We wake up. We're in our own spaces. We do our own routines. We do our own, you know, tasks because it makes us ready for the day to come, right? It 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 it, it um, makes us feel good about ourselves so that whatever the day brings, we can handle it. I mean, we got two kids under two, and you know, just being a parent is hard, right? So. <laughs> Put on top of that, all these other things that we have to deal with. I mean, you have to be mentally, physically, emotionally prepared for all these things. And, you know, life is already hard, right? Life's going to fuck you up anytime it wants to. So we have to always be prepared and ready. And the, and the best thing we can do is, you know, have this type of self-care. But self-care also includes eating the right foods, right? Getting enough sleep. Drinking enough water, right? Understanding what goes inside your body. Understanding how your body reacts to you if something happens. Like if you have a sharp pain somewhere, like that's your body telling you something, right? You just don't disregard the pain. Your body's always talking to you. So if it's in pain or in agony or you're aching somewhere, and just because it goes away doesn't mean that the pain is gone or whatever the cause of the pain is gone. It's still there, right? And we don't have that type of perspective, you know, and it's, you know, and, and, and I hope that, you know, this whole pandemic thing, you know, has, has taught us all more of a lesson to really, really take the time to take care of ourselves, right? Um, I'm going to read some few things in this book that really, you know, struck me. I'm also going to tell you about Sean himself, right? The author of this book. Um, but before I go into that, you know, I just want to kind of give you... Like I said, the synopsis of how this whole um, opportunity came to me, right? So I've been following Sean Stevenson for, I don't know, 2015, 16, right? I, I, uh, I was listening to um, uh, a uh, podcast, um, another podcast, and he was featured on that podcast. I forget, I, it's slipping my mind right now, but I was listening to another podcast, and um, he was featured as a guest on that other podcast and um, he was talking about his story right um, on how he had degenerative bone disease at the age of 20 he broke his hip at 15 running you know uh, in school like doing a track meet or something yeah 15 year old kid breaks his hip you know <laughs> and then he finds out he has like degenerative bone disease like two of his like discs in his back were herniated or something at at a young age right so and I guess he was in college at the time and, you know, he went to the doctor and the doctor was like, nothing you can do about this. I'm sorry. You know, the doctor told him like, nothing you can do about it. I mean, this is, it is what it is. There's nothing you can do to cure this. I mean, the doctor basically said you have, you have the, 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 the bone structure in your, your spine or your disc as like, like an 80 year old man. Right. And he was only 20. 
So, so, you know, I mean, that just imagine how devastating that is, right? At 20, you know, having this bright future ahead of you in sports, you know, in collegiate sports, and then all goes away, right? Um, and then, you know, he had his realizations, uh, and he was studying about, you know, um, I think biology or something in the sciences, and he came to a realization that, hey, like, this, this can't be it, man. This, this, this cannot be what I am going to believe. Like there's that there's nothing else I can do. Right. Now, let me just read you, you know, what he, what he said here. All right. So <clears throat> he was having leg pain and my doctor sent me to sent me in for an MRI of my spine. He put up the scan for me to see and show me that I had two herniated discs, L4 and L5 dash S1. And that was the reason I have so much leg pain that sciatic nerves that ran through the area near the discs and down into my leg were being compressed. I was pretty psyched to finally know that what the problem was. So I immediately asked him, how do I fix this? Right. And of course the doctor was like, no way to fix it. I'm sorry. Like, you know, and how many of you have been in that position where the doctor tells you something and you're like, you know, there's nothing we can do, right? I mean, most of us are conditioned that way and that's not your fault, right? Um, most of you know that I do have a daughter who is, you know, um, susceptible and compromised. She has a rare genetic disorder. Um, I too believe that about her, like there's much nothing we can do she's always going to be on meds she's always going to have this and that but you know i <laughs> i don't i don't believe that anymore my my perspective has changed and um it's it's at a different understanding now because you know new science is coming out new studies are coming out new ways of healing is coming out and we all have to take this responsibility for ourselves to learn how we can heal ourselves, right? And he eloquently says this in the next page. And I'm going to read it to you right now. Even though my doctors had the best interests at heart, they did not walk in my shoes. And they did not have the final say about what was possible for me. What I had not done all this time was get educated. I had no idea what was going on in my body. And I lived in my body all the time. It hit me like a ton of bricks, how crazy that was. I had been passing the responsibility of my health off onto other people. Let me, let me read that shit one more time. I had been passing the responsibility of my health off onto other people. I've done that, you know, <laughs> I've, given the responsibility of my health to other people and those of you that know me you know that i have a i have a you know bleeding disorder called von willebrands right it's been with me all my life it's hereditary right do i believe that i still have it no <laughs> i have programmed my mind to tell myself i do not have any bleeding disorder right so i'm just going to continue here yes they can be valuable, supportive force, but the way I live my life and how I took care of myself was up to me. And in that moment, everything changed. Right? Powerful. You know? Even in my line of work as an energy healer, we I always say this too. I say, most of your trauma that you carry, all the things that, all the shit that you have to go through in your life, Maybe some abuse, some, you know, trauma, some anything, right? Heartbreak, whatever it is that's causing a lot of this strife in your life right now, that's creating all these triggers. All of that trauma that you carry, that you've experienced, it probably didn't start with you, right? His environmental factors of why he had this, you know, degenerative bone disease probably didn't start with him, you know? He was, he didn't, his parents didn't tell him how to, how to eat correctly or, you know, how food can influence or cause this degenerative disease, right? And maybe 
some of his ancestors or something probably had this same type of uh, issue. So they, they didn't know themselves. But what happened was he had this realization that he had to take full responsibility of his, whole, uh, of his own healing. The trauma, the pain, the suffering probably didn't come from you, didn't start with you. But damn it, your healing is your responsibility. And how do you start that? You get educated. You create awareness. You know, you learn. If you put if you're putting your health and wellness and your overall, you know, health in into priority, then you should be doing everything it takes so that you're healthy mentally, physically, emotionally spiritually right if you have huge goals and dreams and aspirations like don't you think that's going to take a lot of energy don't you think you have to feed your body the correct food so you have enough energy to go for your dreams if you have kids don't you think you need an, enough energy to fucking take care of your kids to be there and be present with them every single day right we start to like just let people and let things and people tell us what to do and we start to be lazy and we start to just, you know, give it up to everybody else and have our health be on in, in, in someone else's hands. You know, but like Sean said, I mean, yeah, doctors are there to, to support you, but just because they say something doesn't mean it's end all be all. Right? Just because they say you have cancer and there's a small chance of survival doesn't mean you ain't gonna make it, right? I mean, there's so many case studies out there of people who went against the grain because they just changed their belief system. They changed the way they did things. Very small, minute, minute, you know, things that made them feel better, made them think better, made them think more positively, which affected, you know, the ailment that they were going through, right? So for 2021, you know, I want to normalize all of this. I want to normalize self-care. I want to normalize, you know, eating healthier. I want to normalize meditating every day. You know, my wife and I are on this huge, you know, um, this huge mission to let everybody know because it's important, you know, and this whole year should have taught us that lesson. You know, I was just talking to a good friend of mine and, you know, he lost so many people to this horrible, invisible virus. And it sucks, right? And it's scary. And yet people still aren't taking it seriously and not looking to themselves to be like, hey, I need to really take my health into consideration and prioritize my health so that I can be healthy for myself. And if I'm healthy for myself, I can also help other people, right? If you're feeling good, if you're healing yourself and you're doing all these things and creating a lot more self-love and self-trust and self-compassion, don't you think organically that's going to happen anyways? You're going to start, people are going to start noticing, right? Like, just like the, what the shirt said, you know? That's why every time, let's say you focus on going to the gym and working out and all of a sudden your friends see you and you're like, damn, you, you've been working out, bro? Like, yeah, I've been working out. I feel good. Wow, what happens to that friend who's just said, you've been working out? They want to work out too, right? Most likely, they're like, man, I need someone to work out with. Hey, let's work out together, right? <laughs> Is that what happens? You know, they see you and they're like, man, I want, to, I want to look like you. I want to feel like you. But at the end of the day, we have to feel that for ourselves first, you know? And self-care is important. So 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 important and i want and i want to create this awareness i want to create this awareness for self-care right um and you know i kind of digress a little bit you know <laughs> because i was going to explain to you how i came across this opportunity so i'm gonna get back to that story. um so you know like i said i've been following sean Stevens and listening to his podcast uh, i joined his group in on his facebook group and um his facebook group is amazing uh and uh when he dropped his you know book right um his wife his amazing wife miss ann stevenson um posted that you know uh they're gonna start this launch team you know for this book and i was 
ecstatic. I was like, sign me up, shit, <laughs> whatever, whatever it needs to happen, I, I will do it. So, you know, I got the opportunity, I signed up, got sent the book, um, and like I said, I'm I'm I'm, I'm half almost halfway through it, and it's just been pff, nugget after nugget after nugget of information, you know, like stuff that I had no idea about, like this whole like food pyramid stuff that the government implemented like why do we even still have that shit <laughs> you know like what what i mean the, the 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 caloric intake that the food is you know um counted it's not even precise it's not even like you know um correct right and every body every body every one of our bodies are different so different things respond different foods or different ways and methods of of, of nutrition is different for each of each and every one of us and you know you have to take that into, into consideration right because you, you also have all these you know external factors you know and i talk about a lot a lot about this too and you know dr bruce lipton and epigenetics and how our environmental factors you know are taken into into consideration for our overall health and well-being you know so it's not just like us it's everything else around us right I mean, even the people that are around you, like, you know, your five friends that are around you, they affect and influence your mental health. You know what I'm saying? So if the five people around you are always negative, guess who's going to be negative? You, right? You see it. I mean, there's even science that backs it up, like mirror neurons that, you know, make you like mirror people that are around you. So be wise and careful about who you let around you, who you let share your energy who you let, you know, who you talk to, right? Same thing as in energy healing, you know? You can absorb people's energy. Energy transfer is real. Food, right? There's energy, there's different energies in food, you know? Different foods help you do different things. Like, because of Sean Stevenson, now I know about microbiome, right? It's the second brain. Like, it's in your gut here. There's like trillions and trillions of different bacteria that help you facilitate all these other different systems in your body, right? And there's all these new science and data that he talks about in this book, right? <laughs> that you can actually read about and, you know, implement, eat the right foods, you know, so that you can have better gut health, right? Better digestion that can help with depression and anxiety, right? I mean, just think about it. Do you, you really have to take your health into your own hands. You really have to do this, right? Um, and like I said, most of us, we don't, you know, we, 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 we tend to get lazy, right? I mean, trust me, I've been there, you know, <laughs> I'll raise my hand in guilt. Like I was there. Sometimes I didn't give a shit, you know? And those of you that really know me, know me, I fucked my body up, you know, <laughs> like I, I was doing some, jacked up shit to my body right um so and i had a different mindset at the time i was very lost you know um didn't understand what i understand now but now that i do you know of course i'm gonna be taking everything into consideration right how much water i drink how much rest i get how much exercise i do the stretching right meditation affirmations visualizing right the people around me that i talk to you know people who I help, all these things, you know, are, uh, is going to help me to be a, the, the best version of me because the best version of me has to do every, has to have enough energy mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually to achieve everything that I want to achieve. And those of you that know me in the healing tribe and, you know, that have been following me, you know, I have huge, um, fantastic, you know, astronomical, you know, aspirations and goals. Like, I want to heal the world. You know, I, I want everyone to, like, heal, you know, <laughs> because we deal with so much trauma. We deal with so much things that stress our bodies out. And we're, and most of us are constantly stressed out. And stress is the number one killer, right? We know that, you know, even, even people staying home, right? That stressed them out. Because now they have to like connect and interact with their kids and their spouse for a long period of time because they didn't have to do that.
before they could go to work, disengage, disassociate, right, with their families, and then just put their attention on work, and then come and, you know, after work, and come and, you know, be whatever they need to be for their family, but now it's like, it's a constant time with your family, so that whole dynamic is a change, is a shift, and sometimes, and, and some people weren't even, they didn't, they didn't know how to handle that, right? I mean, it was a, I, I heard that there was a crazy st statistic up there that there was now more divorce rates because spouses had to, you know, connect with each other and, and stay at home to work. I mean, that should tell us something. You know what I mean? Like, is that even normal? You know, like, are you questioning that stuff? You know, like, now every time I look at those stats or like, if you want to read things on, on the internet or stuff, I'm just, I'm just dumbfounded sometimes. I'm like, wow, man, we, we can fix this problem. We can provide a solution if we just did this, right? We can attack depression if we just spent some time, you know, connecting, right? We can be healthier if we drank more water, you know? We can, you know, um, help our anxiety if we do some breath work, right? The information is out there, beloveds, my peoples. We just got to do it. But you have to really prioritize what's most important. We only have this one vessel, this one body, you know, for this lifetime. So if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling bogged down if you have lack of energy if you're not motivated you know if you're just feeling stuck if you're crying all the time and you don't know why like there's an imbalance somewhere something is happening right so we have to really take it to into into, into consideration what are you going to do about it how are we going to fix that for ourselves and there's so much information out there you know I always tell our clients in the energy healing, in our energy healing business, you know, this emotion code thing might not work for you, right? This energy healing might not work for you. We understand that. But if it don't work for you, go find something else that works for you. Go find another modality of healing. Maybe try, you know, another, a different diet or a, a different like eating lifestyle or you know, EFT or Reiki or something, right? I mean, just don't give up just because one method doesn't work. I mean, do everything because we only have this one body and we need this one body to do whatever we need to do. And I know each and every one of you out there watching this on the other side of the screen, if this is hitting a chord in your soul, you know what I'm talking about. Because I know deep down inside you have something in you that you want to do. But something is holding you back and you're probably making up an excuse for you not to do it, right? And maybe it's because of trauma, maybe because of all these things that you've been going through that you need to heal from. That's okay, but you can do it, right? You have to just implement small little things on a daily basis to create that momentum so that you can do it. And one other thing is eat better. Right? Know what food to eat. Right? Eat less grains or drink more water. Eat more kimchi for the pro and prebiotics for your gut. You know what I'm saying? Like, books like this are out there. Like I said, this is a phenomenal book. I'm going to, I'm going to recommend this. And not, not just because it's Sean Stevenson. It's like the information in there is like legit. You know, he has so much case studies he has so much research backed up in this book from like all over the world universities and you know medical centers medical journals everywhere right and if you're if you're like a really analytical scientific type of person i mean sean stevenson is a researcher by trade you know that that's all he does if you listen to his podcast i mean it's just, it's nothing but like i mean just knowledge like profound knowledge um and it's also very funny like this 
when I read when the what I've read so far, he reminds me of like um of that like your favorite uncle that always has stories to tell, you know, and always compares everything to some pop culture reference. <laughs> you know, like I've laughed so hard in this book. Uh it's it, it it's amazing. I'm even trying to count all the different pop culture references cuz he he uses it in a way that explains the scientific part of health and nutrition, which is amazing. You know, we can all relate to that. So it's a very easy read too. So, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, it's awesome. I, I, I think it's awesome. So, um, tonight, like I said, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be, it's, this book is dropping tomorrow. You can pre-order right now at eat, eat smarter book.com or Amazon already ordered mine even though i have one that was given to me i'm still gonna order one um and i'm gonna order two more for two lucky people here that's on live whether it be facebook or youtube um i'm just gonna pick someone and you're gonna get the book right so <laughs> that's what i'm going to do tonight um, so I'm just going to go in the comments here to give some shout outs. Thank you so much for joining. Shannon, how are you, beloved? Karen, Flo, how are you? Sleeping Sun, yes. Crystal, hey, what's up? What's up? Love from Lexi. Good to see you. Marjorie, Maddie. Hello, hello. Oh, who else? Miss Fatty Pants, yes. Wendy. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Wow. All right, Martha. Awesome, awesome. So like I said, I'm I don't do this uh often where I live stream on both platforms, but I'm actually live streaming on Facebook and YouTube. So I can see actually who is coming from which platform, which is cool. I'm using this streaming software called StreamYard. It's amazing, all right? Um so Awesome. Thank you for joining me here live. So like I said, I'm just going to be, you know, picking two people um, to get this book. Uh, and I said, like I said, it drops tomorrow. If you do want to pre-order it, you can go pre-order it um, on Amazon. The hardcover book is like $19 or 20 bucks, something like that. Well, well, well worth the <laughs> the twenty man, it's worth more than twenty dollars. I mean, the the things that you can implement and learn about your own health, that's priceless, right? If something can teach you how to heal yourself and to better yourself, the value in this book is way beyond the amount of money that you're gonna spend, right? If you're worried about the twenty dollars. Then I'm sorry, you ain't you ain't got the right mindset. <laughs> you, you gotta do you gotta do some some mental work, right? Um, I'm not making I'm not trying to make fun of you because I was I was there too. I had no fucking idea of how to take care of my own body, and I was fucking up my body for a long time. So I was there. Um, you really have to change the way you think about things, right? And once you understand what your priority is, and if your priority is your health, then this is a no-brainer, right? Having this book that can teach you how to eat right and have optimal energy, you know, for all of your systems and functions in your body, it's a no-brainer. Of course you invest in it, right? Because you're going to use all the knowledge in there to make you better, right? To make you feel better, to make you, you know, overcome all these things, right? Um, so definitely go get it. Um, Probably going to leave the link somewhere, you know, uh, in, in the comments later. But you can just go to Amazon. Just look up Eat Smarter Book and it's there. It's there and it's amazing. Um, like I said, so many different, you know, profound information pieces in here. Um, and Sean, he's just, man, he's just the coolest dude. I, I was, I got a chance to watch him live in, in the launch team Facebook group and... He's just a real dude, man. Like, and I appreciate that, you know. Um, and um, he's very genuine, you know, very authentic. I mean, he's he's just, like I say, he's just one of, like, 
he reminds me like one of my homies, you know, <laughs> but like a well-educated, you know, <laughs> homie that has like, you know, years of experience in, in, in this field, you know, and you want someone like that. You want, you want, you want to follow people like that and emulate them because, you know, they have so much information to provide to, for your own health and well-being, right? So, um, all right, let's do this. Let's pick two people. Okay, let's just pick two people here. How about this? I'll pick one person from Facebook and I'll pick another person who is watching on YouTube. All right. Um, first of all, I want to know where you guys are from. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you in the world? Can you guys comment? Tell me where you guys are from. I know most of you here, but I see some new faces here. Tell me where you are from or where you are watching from, which state, which country, whatever it is. Let me know. Eliza, let me know. I know where you're from. Nova Scotia. Wow. Fanny pants. Awesome. <laughs> Texas. Yeah. Allegria. Awesome. Philadelphia. Almost. Awesome. Awesome. Arizona, ooh, well, we just got back from Arizona. Woo! Sedona, Arizona, people. That is the place. Uh, Corpus Christi, Texas, Delaware. Wow. Awesome. Walnut Creek. Josh, my man. Josh. How are you, man? How you been, bro? Josh, we go way back. Junior high school. You know, <laughs> junior high school. Uh, um, San Leandro. Yeah. California. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Awesome. All right. Um Let me see here. I'm just looking over here. Awesome. Okay. I'm just reading some comments. It's 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 uh, you know, constantly updating, so I'm trying to read everything I can here. Michigan, Alaska, Game recognized gang. <laughs> yes. All right, cool. All right. Um so let's pick some people. Uh so from Facebook, I'm going to choose and if I choose you, just reach out to me. Uh you can reach out to me at uh my email, J J A Y at J dot com. Right, that's my email. So just reach out to me or I'll reach out to you and um you know, we'll, we'll, I'll get it to you, right? I'm good for it. Trust me. <laughs> All right. Uh, so from YouTube, let me see. YouTube, Cardoza Abreu. Abreu. Cardoza Abreu. Congratulations. I'm going to send you this book. I'm going to order for you. You're going to get a copy. Cardoza Abreu. And if you have it already, gift it to somebody. Give it to somebody else, right? Just pass on the, the knowledge if you already have it. So get at me, Cardoza. Please comment below. Let me know you're where you're at. You can uh, send me an email, J J A Y at J A Y C H A N T H A L A N G S Y dot com. All right? J at J Chantalangsy dot com. That's from YouTube. Facebook, where are you Facebook peoples, Facebook peoples, okay, I am going to choose whoever's commenting, whoever I see here, uh, Eliza, Eliza, I'm going to choose you. <laughs> Congratulations. All right? I think I already have your address, so I will send it to you. I will send you this book, right? Add it to your library. Um, I think it's going to be an amazing addition to your all of your reads. So congratulations to the both of you. Eliza and Cardoza. Cardoza Abreu, please reach out to me and let me know where I can send you this book. If you're still watching, please let me know. All right. And that's that's how we do it. Right. Um, 
So, like I mentioned earlier, 2021 is around the corner. We have what? Today is the 28th, 29, 30, 31. Three more days. And 2021 is right there. So what are you going to do in the coming year? What are your goals? What are your plans? What do you want to do for yourself? What are you going to start prioritizing? All right, have you thought about this? You know, 2020 is going to be behind us. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to live in the past. Let's focus on right now and how is right now going to affect the future for 2021. What do you want for next year? What do you want for yourself? How, what things do you want to implement so you can better yourself at every facet of your life? What are you going to be doing? Right? Are you going to be doing the same thing? Are you going to be trying to change something about yourself or shift something or get into something new? Right? What are you going to be doing? Have you had that conversation with yourself yet? Have you had that conversation with your family or your spouse or whatever? Have you had that yet? You know? For me personally, like I said, Angela and I, my wife and I, we have so many different projects that we want to implement. Um, I'm also in the process of writing my own book about self-care. Uh, so hopefully that's dropping next month. Um, you know, continuing with the energy healing and just continuing to better myself as well. Be a better healer, be a better husband, be a better friend, be a better father, right? And all this, all this comes down to me putting myself and prioritizing my overall health and well-being. Because all that that I want to do requires a lot of energy. Thought energy. Physical energy. Emotional energy. Spiritual energy. Right? It requires all that. So next year, you know, um, because we have so many projects and things we want to do, I need that energy. And if I continue with how I am with my self-care every single day, I know I'm in a good place. I know I'll be in a good place. And I know things will happen. And I know, you know, I can make it happen. Because everything's going to be in alignment. Right? And I know that if I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. All right? Um, a lot of people have been asking me too, especially the, the Healing Tribe and you know, people that have been following me on TikTok, like, are we going to do another, you know, self-care challenge, you know, in the new year? Um, I have to get done with, you know, the, the most, the, the, the priority project right now for me is the book. So once I get done with the book, yes, I uh, believe that we're going to do another challenge because um, people are demanding it, right? Which also tells me, like, if, if, if people are demanding and continually asking me about, you know, how do I do self-care? What about the rest, the rest of the 7 billion people here on earth in, in, in this world? Like, do they know? Do they know the importance of self-care? Do they know the importance of eating healthier? Do they know the importance of the overall health and well-being? Right? Do they know? Right? The 120 days of self-care that I, that I did with the Healing Tribe, 90% of the people had no clue what self-care was. No clue. Some people kind of did know, but they didn't implement it on a daily basis. They didn't know the benefits of it. And I had to explain that. Right? So, if those people... I mean, and we had, and in total, I think we had like over almost 200 people join in that challenge, whether it be the 30 or the 60 or whatever challenge that we did. I mean, if they didn't know, right, I'm thinking, what about everybody else? So this is something that I want to normalize. Like we need to normalize this, right? Because if we start to normalize this, this self-care, right? And I'm, and you know, I really, I, Angela and I already came up with the with a uh, hashtag, you know, hashtag self care awareness. You know, it's not going to be a month thing. It's going to be a forever thing. You know, <laughs> just hashtag self care awareness, right? <laughs> because we have to spread more awareness about the importance of self care, right? 
So, you know, with this whole like movement that we want to create, you know, and implement, we want everybody to understand how important this is for you. And if you implement self-care, like I said, not only are you going to be affecting yourself, but you're also going to be affecting everyone around you. Heal people, heal people. You start to take care of yourself, your kids will start to heal. Your spouse will start to heal. Your parents, your job, right? You start to create this ripple effect of impact, of healing, of change, right? And if you look at trauma, most of your trauma, most of all the things, all the stuff that you've been through when, in your childhood or, you know, all these things that you're attracting unconsciously, that probably didn't even start with you. Okay? You probably carried that energy. But it is your responsibility to break the generational cycle. Right? And you can do it. It only takes one generation. It only takes one person in the family to be like, you know what? I don't want to be like this. I want to be healthy. I don't want to have type 2 diabetes. I don't care if this shit's hereditary. I don't want to live like this. I don't want to be overweight. I don't want to have anxiety and depression. Right? It only takes one person. And once that one person stands up in that generation and says, this is it, I don't want to do this no more, you're going to affect the rest of your bloodline, the rest of your descendants, the rest of your lineage. Like my kids are never going to experience what I've experienced from when I was a kid, right? One of my, my daughters was experiencing that for a, a little bit when she was younger because I wasn't aware. Right. And now that I am aware. That ain't going to happen no more. Right. So we can all do this. We can all change our trajectory of what was already predestined for us. If your family or whatever told you, oh, yeah, you, you know, you're, you're just going to be like this because it's in your genes or, you know, your 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 grandfather had this. OK, that's just information. <laughs> you know. You can do something about it. We live in a day and age where the information is ready, readily available. We just have to consume it, implement, and move forward. Right? That's what we can do. All right? So, um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's what I wanted to do tonight. Um... Like I said, you know, I'm really passionate about this stuff, as you can tell. Um, and I just think that we should all have this, you know, new perspective going into 2021. You know, we already have this idea, you know, of newness, right? Because it's the new year and all that stuff. But we really have to be adamant about it. We really have to take full responsibility of ourselves, you know, Um and if you need some advice or if you want to talk with someone or have some questions, feel free to contact me, right? You can email me. You can set up a discovery call. Just go to my website, jchantalanksy.com, set up a discovery call. We can have a chat for 15 minutes. You know, that's available to everybody, right? I know times are tough. I know, you know, think people are going through a lot of things. So reach out. I'm here, you know, and, 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 and don't think that you're alone in, in in this whole thing right and no one's alone like we're, there's always people out there you know available and helping you out it just you just feel alone because you know you're, you're probably feeling that energy or that emotion and that's what it feels like but in reality you know you have help there's help i'm here so that's always available to everybody right um and those of you that i've spoke to already and we've had our uh talks it's amazing, you know? I mean, who would have thought four, four, six, or, or five, four or five months ago, we would have created this amazing community called the Healing Tribe, you know? And now they're, the members in that community are creating their own little ripple effects in their own families, in their own communities, with their friends, you know? It's, 
It's amazing. It's fucking amazing how much impact we can create just by doing, you know, simple things, you know? So, um, thank you so much. Like I said, awesome. Uh, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I'm going to be, you know, this is the last show for 2020 for the ripple effect of healing, but I'll be back, you know, next year. Um, you know, to have to host the show on Monday nights, 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you want to learn about energy healing or self-healing or, you know, self-care, spirituality stuff, please tune in. Um, just subscribe to the YouTube channel or follow me on any, any social media platform at jchantelancy.com. Um, most of my stuff is also like on TikTok, you know, or just contact me if you want to chat about things. I'm here, right? So with that said, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, share this episode if you think it's valuable. If you think, you know, you got some out of it, that will be awesome, right? So you can spread the message of healing to create the ripple effect. You know what I'm saying? All right. With that said, always stay blessed. Take care of yourselves. I will see you in the new year. And always remember to protect your energy at all costs, right? Protect your energy at all costs. And congratulations again to Eliza and uh, Cardoza. Cardoza, please reach out to me, send me your information or just, you know, message me your email or something so I can get your address so I can send you the book. Like I said, this book is dropping tomorrow. Um, I'm going to pre-order it tonight and send it to you guys so you can have it. All right. So congratulations again. Uh, and I will see you guys next year.